Hello to all my followers and friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to show you some polyline exercises and I will also teach you how to plot your lot bearing. I have here some three figures that we can practice on. We will focus on the polyline figures and the dimensions and text are for references only since this lesson is intended for polyline exercises. You can take a screenshot of the images for your reference. And after the exercises, we will learn how to plot this simple lot using this technical description or also called the lot bearings. Now let's begin. Open your AutoCAD. The first thing we need to do is to change the units. So type UN and tap. Under insertion scale, choose millimeters. And precision, we don't need so many decimal places, so just choose zero. Okay. Then to check and see the extents of our drawing area, type PL or polyline. Enter. Specify start point. Type 0, comma, 0. Enter. This means the 0, 0 origin. As you can see, your first point come exactly to the X and Y axis. Then for the next point, press F8 or ortho on. This will restrict your movement into horizontal and vertical straight lines only. And now that your ortho or F8 is on, you can position your mouse to whichever direction you like. Then enter the value. This time, let's go to the right. Then enter the value of 1000 millimeters or equal to 1 meter. Press enter to terminate the command. Then zoom extend. Type Z, enter, E, enter. Zoom extent will display all your objects into your drawing area. So this is now our 1 meter line. Now let's create the first figure. From the command line, type PL, enter. Pick your start point. Pick somewhere here, near the 0, 0 origin. Pick. Then second point, type W for width. W, enter, starting with 50, ending with, it's already 50, so just press enter. As you can see, your polyline will have a thickness. So position your mouse, F8 is on, 2000. Point number 3, going upward, 500. Enter. Going to the right, 1000. Enter. Going upward, 4,000. Enter. Going to the left, 3,000. Enter. Instead of typing the value of 4,500, there is an option called close. So just type C, enter. So this is your first figure. Now for your second figure, type PL, enter. Pick somewhere here, as you can see on your image. Point number one is here. Then, as you notice, polyline will inherit the last thickness that you entered, which is 50. Let's put it back to zero. Type W. Enter. Starting with, which is 50, make it zero. Enter. Ending with, is already zero, so just press enter. Now, your polyline went back to zero. Then, for your second point, 1,500 going to the right. One thousand five hundred. As you can see, I mistakenly enter the wrong value. To go back, type U or undo. Then you will go one step backward. Then 1,500, enter. Then this time, you will be needing your polar tracking or F10. So turn on your F10 or click this F10 icon on the status bar. Also, you have to turn off your F8. So in order for you to create a diagonal lines. So this is 45 degree. Right click on your polar 
then choose 45. As you can see, when you are near 45 degree, your polar tracking will appear, these green dotted lines. So position your mouse on this direction, then type the value, which is on the image, 21, 21. Enter. So you don't need your polar tracking anymore. Press F10 and go back to F8 or Ortho. 1500, enter. Then turn off your Ortho, then F10, okay. Position your mouse on this angle, type the value, 21, 21, enter. Here, no need for you to type 1500, just press C. This is your second figure. The thickness of the polyline in our image has 50 millimeters, but our polyline is zero. So how can we give thickness to our polyline? Type MO, enter. A properties palette will appear. Whatever object you select, the property of that object will appear here. And under geometry, go to global width and type 50. Now, your polyline is 50 millimeter thick. Now, go to your third image. Again, polyline, PL, enter. Pick somewhere here. Then change the width, W, enter. Starting with 1000, enter. Ending with, it's already 1000. So, just uh, click enter. Make sure that your ortho is on. Position your mouse to the left or to the right, then type the value which is 3000. At this point, you have to change the width. So type W, enter. Starting width is 3000. Change to 3000, then ending width 0. Enter. And for the length, position your mouse going to the right. Then type the value, which is 2000. Enter. And enter to terminate the command. Now, using polyline, we're going to draw this simple lot using this technical description. Let's set aside all our figures somewhere to the lower part. Then PL. Enter. For your first point, pick somewhere here. And for your next point, type at, that's shift at, distance which is 15 meters, so that would be 1500, 15,000 millimeters, angle S, 83, D for degrees, and 2 apostrophe minutes east. Enter. Then next point, at 10,000 angle W, enter. Then for your next point, at 15,000 angle N, 83D, and your last point, do not close. Type the correct bearing, which is at 10,000 angle. You will see if this bearing close. Yes, I think it's close. So this is now your lot bearing. How to check the area of this lot? Type MO, enter. The properties palette will appear. Pick the polyline. Then under geometry, there is an area, which is in square millimeter. To read this in square meter, from the first digit, count uh, six decimal places. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This will be 149.99 square meters, or 150 square meters. Thank you for watching. If you find this video useful, Please do me a favor of clicking the like and subscribe button because it helps me a lot.
Also hit the bell icon for future contents. Thank you very much and God bless.